Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Litecoin has changed and what the technical indicators EMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the hourly time frame for Litecoin, the price rapidly went down with around 4.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 139. On the other hand, this move wasn't very strong because the volume wasn't very high. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 142. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went below the three hourly ribbon so you should see if the price can jump back above the ribbon or it will play as a resistance to the upside currently at around 140. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very low, which means that the price is oversold and a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation is to be expected. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is above the D line. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is in the daily ribbon so it is to see if the price can break the resistance currently at around 146. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Usually, when the price moves to the side, the ribbon is less reliable. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.